<clears throat> hey guys, Wednesday. Uh, this is my second video going into my three week pre launch before I bring my PT business online. Today's topic is the confusion with food. Um, I want to give you my opinion on food, and it comes from experience. Um, everything I'm telling you is not just an opinion that I've, I think. I've actually been down the road uh, with all types of food and experienced the change. So I'm giving you an opinion from, my, from how I've felt having that food. Okay, food itself is a very confusing topic. Uh, we see a lot of information out there uh, that tells you that this is the way that you should eat to get the desired outcome, the best results, and how it will change your physique to the best that you want. Uh, we see all the posters, we see all the advertisement that goes out there, and all the supplements and food types that you must have. And that, I in 2011, I watched Dana uh, change her food. Uh, she went into uh, a vegetarian type eating plan uh, while I was having my chicken on the barbecue and watching uh, from from this side going, well, what the hell is she doing? How can she not have meat? I watched that, I continued to watch that and over time I saw her change her complexion. Um, I also saw her change her energy levels and overall she just changed as a person eating a vegetarian meal. I still watched by the side, I was going, oh, there's no way a kiwi that eats been eating meat oh, at least twice a day, love my steak, um, could ever, ever do that. If I fast forward to, we went to a Tyler Tolman event. Uh, Tyler Tolman and Don Tolman are people that we follow through Optimal Health and Food. Um, we went there and, um, and one of the sort of events that we went to when we were going to go over to Bali was that we were going to have an iridology and skirology testing. So that looks at the health of your eyes. So if you look at that online, skirology and iridology testing, there's a lot of research that's, that tells you that that's a very good way to see the passage of health is actually through your eyes. I should you not. Uh, have a look online if you don't believe me. So what happened there was we went through and, and everyone went through the testing and I came to the testing and thinking I was fine and Tyler told me that uh, I had the internal health of a seven year old. I said to him, bullshit, I don't believe you. Um, show me, show me that I'm 70, the internal health of a seven year old. He said to me, okay, um, I suggest, all I suggest to you is follow my food plan over a four to six week period after that, you make your decision on what you want to do. So what happened, I went cold turkey, uh, no dairy, no meat. I, I went to intermittent fasting, and from there I, I, I had a massive change on how I felt. Uh, my gut health, um, people were saying to me, what have you done to your skin? Um, even though my, my skin isn't that, that hasn't been that good over time, but they could see a difference, they were seeing a difference through my eyes, my skin colour uh, eventually has changed. Um, I was really, I was really white. Not saying that's a bad thing, uh, but for me, more, um, I'm more browner now. Um, so just all these different variables changed. Um, also, people were saying that my energy levels had changed, and also I wasn't as snappy, uh, as aggressive. As some of you, as some of you might know, um, I've I've gone there once or twice. So, all this information that I've learnt through the fitness industry, macro units uh, to get the best optimal physique. Um, and hey, I don't have any problem with that. That that's fine. You know, I still know that that's a really great way to get the best physique and some other people and some people that are at that top echelon that have been to our club eat that way and they look brilliant and that's that's awesome and I've got um, no I've got no clients with that at all. If you want to look in the uh, best physique, you know that that is an option. However, 
there are other options to eat. Uh, there's not only one way. You know, what, what I, how I look at food is what return and value will it give you? If you eat that, what in return will it give you? Will your energy feel good or will you feel crappy or will you feel slow? Food gives you energy and energy then lets you know if the body likes it or not. Uh, myself now, I, I'm a vegetarian, pescatarian, so I eat a little bit of fish, I eat no meat, I've done that for about four or five years, and I feel, I feel fantastic. I eat intermittent fast, usually till lunchtime, and then I have grapefruit and bananas, peanut butter, and I've done that for a long, uh, well, at least three, four, five years. I feel great. Not saying that that's the only way to eat. So I'm just giving you options that the, the reason why things are so confusing out there is because there's so much, so much variables everywhere. It's really hard to find out what works for you. The major thing is what return and value will it give you? A lot of my mates back home, back in NZ, you know, have been eating and been drinking uh, for a long period of time, and their health isn't good. And there's a reason why their health isn't good. My opinion only is they're too meat-loaded, and they've been doing that for a long period of time, and they drink. Up to them. If that's the way you want to go out, if that's the way you want to go, great. I just want to go out feeling the best I can. I might not live any, any longer, but I want to feel good, on this planet for the best I can. So the confusion of food. What is good for you? What isn't good for you? What return and value will it give you? The major thing I see with, with food, food is that you've got to try and eat the most unprocessed food that you can. So vegetables, fruit, and a little bit of lean meat if you want to go that way. If you don't want to have lean meat, then have a look at some type of every option, which is tempeh, uh, tofu, beans, etc. But there's not only one way to eat, there's many ways. You've just got to do the research and find out what gives you a return and value of your food. If you eat this way, is it going to make you feel good or get your desired outcome of the physique that you want? If you eat this way, what difference is it? Vegetarian, plant-based, fruit-based, fruitarian, pescatarian, meat-loaded, all these variables, but if you want change, especially through your health, sometimes you need to look at some research and look at more of a, of a view on why people are changing, why are people changing their food. There's so much confusion out there, but you, you just have to trust someone that's gone through all the variables and can give you an option. The confusion of food, it still continues on, uh, but I hope this has given you some information to look at unprocessed food the best that you can. Look at some fruit, some vegetables, and look at some lean meat if you need to. That's my, that's my take on food, guys. I hope you learned something. The main thing, what return and value do, what does that food give you? Will it give you return and value? Do you have energy per day? If you don't have energy per day, I would look at the food that I'm having. Okay, see you guys.